consider a user who has enabled two-factor authentication as explained in the previous tutorial. Such a user is required to authenticate twice before he can access the pages of a website. The first authentication is through the common login page and then immediately after that, he is redirected to a second login page where he has to enter a validation code that he obtains from his Google, Microsoft or iOS authenticator app. The purpose of this tutorial is to complete the second login page also called the two-factor login page. Let us first have a recap of the common login page that we completed in the starting tutorials of this chapter. Open the solution explorer and locate the file login.cshtml.cs. Double click and open this file so that we can examine the code that we wrote earlier. This is the login.cshtml.cs file. First we have the login model class. Scrolling down we can see that we added some bind properties also and then we have the onPost method that executes when the user posts the login form. The password sign in async method is used to perform the password verification. And then we have an if else ladder to handle the various outcomes of this function. As you can see, we already had an else condition for two factor authentication. This was already present since the first tutorial. Now remove the placeholder code and add a redirect to the second login page that we are going to add now. And if you are following this course, then the source code can be found in the downloads attached to this video. So let us now add this second login page. Open the solution explorer and locate the folder called MFA under the auth area. Right click to add a page called login with 2FA. Double click to open the markup file so that we can have a look at the markup. First we have the directives for page, model and add tag helper. Then we have a tag for presenting a validation summary. And after that we have a form. First. We have hidden inputs for remember me and return URL. And then we have an input text box for two factor code. The user brings this code from his authenticator app. Then we have an input for remember me and lastly we have the submit button. So basically this form collects the two factor code from the user. Now let us have a look at the backing class. Again, open the solution explorer and locate the backing class for the login with 2FA page. Double click and open this file. First, we have the namespace directives. Then we have the class login with 2FA model. Constructor based dependency injection has been used to cache sign in manager as a read only member. Then we have the properties for return URL and remember me. We also have a bind property for the two factor code. The onGet method executes when the page loads for the first time. The first thing we do here is to use the sign in manager to ensure that the user has passed the first login step. Then the return URL and remember me properties are set. These will bind to the hidden fields of the form and will be used in the onPost method. And next we have the onPost method. This method is called when the user posts this login form. First we use the sign in manager to ensure that the user has passed the first login step. Then we extract the two factor code posted by the user. Spaces and hyphens are removed. The two factor authenticator sign in async method of the sign in manager is used to perform the authentication. An if else ladder is used to handle the various outcomes. If the user succeeded, then he is redirected to the return URL. And if his account is locked out, then he is redirected to the lockout page. Recall that we have already discussed and completed the account lockout process. Now let us run the project and verify. Run the app and open the home page. Click on the click to view restricted page link and open the login form. Enter your login and password for the first step of the login process. Please enter, please ensure that you have already enabled two factor authentication for the account you use here. And please follow the previous tutorial if you are new to this 
so that you can learn more about enabling two-factor authentication. Click the submit button. You are redirected to the second login page now. Open the authenticator app on your mobile phone and enter the code that you see here. See there in that app. The code is valid for 30 seconds. If everything went fine, you will be redirected, authenticated and redirected to the restricted page that you initially wanted to see. This verifies that we have successfully implemented two-factor authentication. Thank you.